All right, in today's video, um, I just wanted to talk about the Mora 162. This is kind of what I use for a sheath, by the way. It's an old um, shirt sleeve, really old now. You can see how ripped up it is. That's probably at least a couple years old, and I keep it in this old um, shaving kit zip bag. And it works great. Um, I have a tool roll that I keep um, most of my knives in, but there's a couple that I just like to toss in here because sometimes I like them to be a little bit more mobile. <coughs> so, yeah, I think I'd, I have another video of another Mora hook knife that I have individually packaged as well. But anyway, so this is the 162. This one has a pretty bad wrap. Um, people really don't like the fact that it is sharp on both sides. Um, and I think the fact that it's square up top, so if you can see that it's square, people aren't really a fan of that. Um, but I'm going to tell you that, at least for the double sidedness, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of funny how critical um, people can be and how much they can really hate these things. And I mean, I guess I get it if you have hundreds of dollars to drop on super fancy um, wood carving you know whittling equipment so be it but for me um, I like this so a couple things I do is once again I already showed you the kind of makeshift case I have and then I um, I've done this on a couple of my hook knives not all of them but I wrap duct tape around just so I can really inch up and get all the extra thing I you can easily back out still or back off still but if you want to really choke up on it um, wrapping some duct tape or in this case Gorilla Tape will uh, it'll stick around for a long time too so but it allows you to really um, choke up on it so here's um, the real reason I like this I love this knife um, whenever I'm starting anything with a decent sized bowl this is like my go-to this thing is a total hog um, because first of all you can you can pull which which is obviously not that special. This is just um, some wet, fresh black cherry. So you can see I already put a considerable dent in it. Um, so that's all well and good, right? It's good to, good to be able to do this. This is how most people start their bowls, right? Um, this is also super rough, so this is definitely not how I typically start it, but it was just lying around. So anyway, um, so most people go with these pulling movements and then they'll rotate around they'll kind of get it from over here and that's all well and good but um i like it because you can get some of these ones down too so and once again i'm using that duct tape and like i said this thing is just a total total hog and you can just see how it's so easy to just kind of rip the wood right out of here so this is why I've never understood why people don't get it I don't know I've seen people do all sorts of funky stuff and maybe my style is just different I mean you can even see I'm holding it with my hands out and not I don't have it against my chest because the way the camera's set up I can't even film that right now but this thing and let me tell you I'm no expert sharpener and because of the uh, question mark shape you can go from here and you can just move around as much as and you get a lot of leverage doing moves like this for when you get deep in the bowl and you've got chunks when you're just trying to clear stuff out um, I've used this to just start spoons and remove material there you go. feather a bunch of it up and then you come back the other way it goes flying out so I've used it to start spoons like I said just remove a lot of material um, I've also just used it to make entire spoons. This was, I think, one of the first hook knives that I ever got. Um, so for a while, it was just me and this knife, and maybe that's why I got good at it. Maybe it was just because all I had, because once again, you go online and people just rip this thing to shreds. They hate it. Um, I couldn't tell you why. Well, I guess I did tell you why, but still doesn't mean I understand it but um you can see how we managed to just plow through a ton of material and you've got so many so many options I, I use this move all the time the pushing and you know you'll see people that have like two hook knives for this one job like I said I toss it in my case I go out in the woods I go camping and I've got everything I've needed in one knife and you got some basic strop like this just make sure you follow the edge
every so often I take a dowel on the inside. I don't actually go out and try to sharpen it. I just try to, if there's a burr, I'm not even gonna do it right now because I don't do it every time, but yeah. So, Mora 162, I don't know if they make them like this anymore. I think Mora recently has started to uh, change their designs and focus in on things that people don't despise as much. Like I said, this knife in particular has earned itself quite the reputation as, as a finger slicer and you know, it's double-sided, so I understand, but I, uh, I think that for, for a knife that's not super expensive, can hold an edge, and you know, let's pretend you take this camping and you don't bring stuff to sharpen. One edge can go dull and you'll just use the other edge, right? So you've got twice the blade edge to use. And uh, like I said, you've got a lot of blade edge to use because you can go everything from here and the or to here. So that's my, uh, that's my little argument didn't really think out many of the points ahead of time. I just have seen enough people insulting these knives. I'm not really sure if they've ever had one or if they did, I'm not really sure they tried to uh, focus on the skill of using it. I think some people get knives and expect the knives to teach them how to be used, but that doesn't make sense, does it? So I think this is a knife that that could be relatively easily mastered and I mean you just watch me carve a pretty substantial coffee scoop bowl that I could take back with a hatchet or a big knife if I really wanted to spend a lot of time whittling a small thing. But, or I could go deeper. I've made coffee scoops that are probably at least twice as deep as this because this thing can just keep going down and down down and down you know maybe if if you're not a deep bowl person so I guess I'll say that if you are looking to make like eating spoons spoons that don't have deep bowls this thing probably isn't for you I guess I would say that in my days of making making spoons this can make a shallow bowl just fine but I think its strength is really in just completely digging, being a complete hog when it comes to uh, removing material. So, yeah, that's all for the Mora 162. Um, I personally would recommend it. I'm just going to say that. Unless you walked in and said, I want to drop the big bucks. I don't think any of the Mora hook knives are terrible. There is one, the one with the wide sweep, is one that I would typically use to follow up this if I was trying to smooth stuff out on a coffee, um, I mean a serving spoon or this maybe. But that's, that's also up to your taste. Some people like those super smooth bowls and other people don't care that much. They like the natural carved look. So anyway, that's all for the Mora 162.